I greetings Austria. Uh, Australia. <laughs> Shemesh in Poland, surrounded by 1,500 people as we gather at the days in the diocese. In three days time I'll be gathered around 3 million young people gathered together to celebrate their faith. <laughs> When you think of great events like this, silence and stillness is probably the last thing that comes to mind. But the reality is that most of these young people are going to get more stillness this week around, surrounded with 3 million people than they do most days and most weeks of their lives. such busy lives with work, school, family, friends and social media. Sometimes it is so hard just to stop, just to be still and shut off. In our busyness we have lost the ability to be still and to be silent and as a result have become a more stressful people. Psalm 46 says, Be still and know that I am God. I love the Aramaic or the Arabic or the Maltese word for still in that psalm. The word literally means shut up. In the busyness of our life, God asks us to be still, to shut up, to spend moments recognizing who He is in our life and who we are in the love of God. We need stillness and I want to give you eight ways to find stillness and silence in your life. Number one, turn off your electronics. Find time away from your phone, switch off your radio, switch off your TV and just be still. Point number two, keep your radio off when you're driving, just take in the scenery. Stop and observe and enjoy what God has given you. Point number three, employ the practice of silence. Make a conscious decision to stop and to be still. If you have little ones, you have kids, just play a game with them and ask them who could keep silent for the longest amount of time. They too need to learn and understand the importance of stillness and silence. Point four. Spend some time eating in silence. Savor your food and appreciate what God has provided for you. And pray also for those who are in need of God's providence. Number five. Meditate. Find some time to pray each day some time to reflect on life and on the love of God. Dedicate half an hour or maybe an hour each day just to be still, just to be silent. The sixth thing you can do is remove any noise from your sleeping routine. Any phones, any radios or TV. Just go to bed still. Point seven, plug into nature. Find time to spend time in the countryside to appreciate God's presence in nature. Point number eight, tune it out. Don't be so worried about the lives of other people, about celebrities, but just be concerned about what God is doing in your life. Stay away from gossip, from gossip magazines, from gossip television stations and just focus on God in your own life.
being worried about the lives of others can be very stressful and time consuming. God is often found in silence. So make time to be still, to listen. Because very often if we are still enough, we will hear God speak. And what he will say is that he loves us and that he wants to draw us close to him.